Automotive enthusiasts have been waiting decades for the return of the Ford Bronco. And despite a global pandemic, that day is finally here. The Bronco is back. This is the 2021 Ford Bronco and it is smarter, more powerful, and more capable than ever before. And that's just what Ford is gonna need to take on the Jeep Wrangler. I'm here at Holly Oaks Off-Road Park, just north of Detroit. And this is our first look at the all new 2021 Ford Bronco. Ford won't come right out and say it, but it seems pretty clear just by looking at the Bronco that its main goal in life is to kill the Jeep Wrangler with the same combination of off-road capability and functionality that established it as a must-have companion in the 1960s. And to do that, Ford studied off-roaders hard. It looked for so-called pain points among owners, inconveniences or undesirable situations that, for one reason or another, vehicles forced on their owners. And like a veteran boxer targeting a rival's weakness, engineers and designers beat these pain points to a pulp to not only make the reborn Bronco capable, but to make accessing that capability convenient. Ford will offer the Bronco with a choice of two engines. The volume engine will likely be a turbocharged 2.3 liter four cylinder, while customers will also be able to snag certain trims with a twin turbocharged 2.7 liter V6. But here's the rub. The 2.3 liter is the only way to get a manual transmission, in this case, a Getrag source seven speed manual with a crawler gear. Both engines though, will be available with Ford's excellent 10 speed automatic as an option. Going with a four pot to get the manual transmission is hardly a sacrifice though. It produces an estimated 270 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque to the V6's 310 horsepower and 400 pound feet. And if that's not enough, the rumor mill is running rampant with reports of more powerful Broncos on the way. But the Bronco isn't just a model, it's a family now. And that includes the Bronco Sport, a new compact crossover that shares its modular front wheel drive platform with the Ford Escape. Ford says that while the Bronco Sport is capable, customers will rely on its abilities to get to a destination. In the Bronco though, getting there via any terrain is the point. So it's offering both two and four door models with two four-wheel drive options. The base is a part-time four-wheel drive system with a two-speed shift-on-the-fly transfer case and a 272 to one low range gear. The optional setup offers a 4A mode for on-demand four high engagement, while its two-speed electromechanical transfer case features a 306 to one low range reduction gear. Complementing that hardware are standard Dana 44 axles with available front rear locking differentials and a high performance off-road stability system or HOSS for short, that pairs Bilstein shocks with an independent front suspension and a five link rear axle. The crawl ratio extends from 57.2 to one with the automatic transmission and the base four wheel drive system to 94.8 to one with the seven speed stick and electromechanical transfer case. There are electronic disconnecting sway bars too that allow owners to make changes even while the suspension is under load. The smallest tire you can get on a Bronco is 30 inch rubber on 16 inch wheels. Although the Bronco holds the record as the first production vehicle to offer 35 inch rubber from the factory. Paired with a 17 inch beadlock capable wheel, these massive tires are available on every Bronco trim via the optional Sasquatch package. Yes, that name is great. It also adds front and rear locking differentials and the Haas suspension. Ford took a novel approach to the Bronco's exterior design, borrowing for design chief Moray Callum's personal 1966 Ford Bronco and scanning it down to the thousandth of a millimeter before setting to work on the new model. The data from that process was a key instrument in crafting a modern Bronco that closely adhered to the overall design of the original. This is a remarkably handsome off-roader that perfectly captures the character of the original in a modern way. Single piece taillights, round headlights, a square grille, and even little bits at the corner of the hood all harken back to the original, but those lights are more powerful. Tips at the corner of the hood double as tie down straps and all three grille designs are much more expressive than the original. Frameless doors inspired by the original Bronco's open air character are also easier to remove and stow than a conventional design, while hiding the attachment points from view results in a profile that's far cleaner than you'd find on a Wrangler. It'd be one thing if the Bronco's cabin were just a masterclass in modular design, but Ford added some really attractive elements. The seats look great and are even available in a marine grade upholstery that shrugs off water. The so-called hero switches that sit atop the dash and control the differentials and other vital functions are a single piece of rubber and are therefore waterproof. There's an accessory rail that runs almost the width of the top of the dash that can hold a phone, a navigation unit, or cameras. And there's a power source there to prevent cables from cluttering up the cabin. 
Grab handles on the center console and ends of the dash blend neatly with the overall design, while an available 12-inch touchscreen running in Ford's latest SYNC 4 software is an attractive centerpiece. Ford addressed many of the pain points experienced by customers with a modular approach to the Bronco. Not only can owners remove the frameless doors and roof, just like they can on a Jeep, they can pull the wheel arches off, remove the end caps of the front and rear bumper, ditch the front grille, and even yank off the fenders with just a few minutes of work. The door is even still in the trunk, so there's no need to abandon them at the trailhead or in your garage. Across the car, there are screws with Bronco stamped on the head, indicating an item that owners can remove and replace with a different one. Complementing this approach is a massive accessory catalog, all of which is backed by Ford's standard warranty. The company says there will be over 200 different items available at the Bronco's launch in spring 2021, ranging from lift kits to door packages to grills and light options. The goal, the company says, is to provide a blank slate to owners looking to create their ideal off-roader free of compromises. The Bronco's 21st century return is just a little ways off, but while today marks its official debut, consumers are gonna be waiting a few months before they can park it in the driveway.